Richard, you know, if China does start to pick up and, and does provide a tailwind, to what extent will it feature in Japan's uh, calculus? And, as you said earlier on, you know, the global political situation is fairly influential. Again, how does that play into Japan? I'm just wondering whether the gearing of Japan's current domestic economic and, and, and financial market performances, uh, how closely geared they are to those broader political, uh, global political themes, uh, and how much are they actually dependent upon what's happening in Internally. Well, that's a lot of questions all at once. On um, the geopolitical issues, for the first time, even since the war, since World War II, I suppose, uh, a lot of Japanese are waking up to this need that we really have to defend ourselves. And we cannot uh, rely 100% on the Americans. We have to have our own defense uh, capabilities. And that was something we haven't seen for ages. And I suppose something similar is happening in parts of Europe, uh, Germany, but it's also happening in Japan. And so that is changing government's priorities or even social priorities from uh, in some, some areas, especially after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And the books are selling, indicating that, you know, Japan could be the next Ukraine and people are all uh, hyped up on these issues. And especially because the Japanese constitution the, uh, was really based on United Nations operating properly to keep the world peace. And this time around, we all discovered a horror that one of the key members of the United Nations is doing this invasion. And that means the entire Article 9 of the Constitution, which is based on the United Nations solving global problems, will have to be uh, reviewed all over again. And so that's the geopolitical part that is affecting Japan. We have never seen so much active debate on how to defend Japan, how to defend uh, freedom and, and so forth in this part of the world from like average Japanese until mm. um, this Russian invasion of Ukraine. So that's the big change on the geopolitical uh, aspect. On economics, uh, I'm sure they are happy that maybe China is opening up and things will become more normal. But at the same time, as I indicated to you just now, they are already keenly aware that supply from China could be disrupted with just you know, very simple uh, order coming from the central government in Beijing, and then suddenly you have to re rework all your supply chain issues until uh, those lockdowns are, are behind us.